Hey guys, back again with another review, and this time it's of Home Sweet Home, which is a horror thriller home invasion movie, directed by David Morlett and written by David Morlett as David Morley on the credits. And it stars Megan Heffern, Adam McDonald, Sean Benson, Marty Adams, Barbara Golden, and Lancelot the Cat. Love that character. Lancelot was the best character in the movie. <laughs> Only joking. So we find out Sarah and Frank on date night. And we also find out that at one point she saw somebody walking around on their property. She was a bit creeped out by it. So she called the police and she'd also called her mother about it. Where her mother said to her about, oh, so your husband's not good enough to protect you and all this stuff. And it was quite horrible. As they're on date night, an intruder comes into their home and just walks around. That's right. Having a look, looking at the lay of the land, searching the area. He did do a very good job, but he was doing pretty good. Nailing down the windows. And you know this is going to be a full-on home invasion movie from the moment you see him doing it. Seven so Frank come home. They're, they've had a great date night. You can tell they love each other. But one of the best parts of this movie is we don't get to know too much about them. And this is great because in a home invasion movie, we don't need to know anything about the characters. We just need to know the basics. We don't need to build a relationship to them. We need to know them like how the intruder would normally. Where, for instance, the intruder doesn't know much about them, but he knows the basics. And that's what we learn. And that's what I like because it's from the intruder's point of view to a degree when you know the characters. When you see the characters, you know what they're doing. It turns out that Sarah's got a chili dip which she's going to surprise her husband with because they're going to have some hanky-panky. But as Frank's downstairs, he gets hit around the head with a golf club. And this is where the violence is not over the top. It's brutal, but it's not over the top brutal. So you like watching it and you're like, oh, but you're at the same time, you're not going, that's excessive. So it's really, really funny in the fact that you feel like it's kind of a sense of realism to it. So, my whole thing with this is the killer is very sadistic in the fact that he puts plastic around poor Sarah's head, then lets go, then does it again. And he does this weird stuff. Now, there's times in the movie where Sarah, you feel like she could get away, she could do things, and she doesn't do things the way you feel like she should. But at the same time, what you got to remember is, in reality, if somebody was in your home and you were scared witless, you'd probably make some mistakes similar to what she did. Sean Benson plays the killer, and he doesn't say anything for a long time. He does say the odd words near the end. And when he does, it just sounds creepy. It sounds horrible. It sounds like somebody disturbed in the fact that it's like, I had fun. And you're like, oh, you know. There's a good twist at the end, but the same that happens at the end that makes you think, well, that's very unrealistic. That technically won't happen. They, this person will be able to do that or this. But one of the best things about the movie, one of the good things about the movie as well was the cat. Because when the cat walks in the blood, you see the paw prints all over the place. Which I thought was a great effect. Now, overall, this only stars about, what, one, two, three, four, five, six people. And one of them is a voice. Now, there is a point in the movie where a security guard turns up, played by Marty Adams. And apparently this silent alarm goes off. Now, the lights are on in the home. He's not getting an answer. He cares more about seeing the game he was watching. On the TV. Then he does about the safety. Now if the lights are on. And you're not getting an answer. And the, and the security line was tripped. Wouldn't you try and get a better look. Wouldn't you go around the house. Instead of just looking through the window. He shouts their name out a couple. He shouts their name out about. What 10-12 times. And he just wanders off. Not a very good security guard. But I've all met security guards like that anyway. Now overall. I thought this was really well acted. Because like I said. Not getting to know the characters that well, but getting to know them pretty, getting to know them a little bit, really made it more creepy because you didn't know what they were capable of, you didn't know what they were doing, and the killer, you never know what the killer's going to do because you have no idea who he is, what kind of person he is, and when you find out at the end, the when you find out at the end, it is it is kind of shocking, but at the same time, you sit there going, well, this is a good way to end the movie now. Now, I highly enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun, and I'd recommend it to other people to watch. Now, I won't say it's the greatest movie. I won't say it's the best movie, but I'd say it's a lot better than a lot of home invasion movies of today because the point of home invasion movies of today is they focus too much on who the characters are in the house and what the backstory is possibly to an intruder. This doesn't. 
this has the intruder, has the two people, and that's it. And I like that. I like the story. I like the telling. I like the tension that rises. I thought the movie had great atmosphere. I thought it had great storytelling. Some people will see it as slow, but I felt it has good tension rising in every scene. So overall, I'd give this a 4 out of 5. I highly enjoyed it. I'd definitely recommend it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.